Adam, obviously college game day's here, uh, you know, big time game. Do you, do you get up for something like this? Uh, yeah, definitely. It's a, you know, a great experience. Uh, I've been, I think I've been a part of it one time, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's super exciting just to be in this type of atmosphere that we're going to be in tomorrow. You know, the fans come out and, uh, I just can't wait. So what, what do you think? I guess obviously there's a lot of things you have to do better than the first time you played them. What are some of the things you are kind of focusing on? Um, just going back to, you know, who we are. Uh, we, we did a lot of different things in the sense of not getting back on defense, um, boxing out, ball screen reads, you know, everything that makes us who we are. Uh, we just focused on, you know, practicing that constantly these past two days. And, you know, we feel confident in just going out there and putting our best foot forward. So, Adam, did you surprise yourself? I mean, after sitting out the game before then playing 41 minutes, do you feel like that maybe? Pushed it too much, or do you feel like you had that in you? Uh, no, it was just—it was really just what was, um, you know, necessary at the moment. Um, I didn't think I was gonna play 41 minutes. I didn't—I didn't know what was gonna happen. You know, sitting out, I was a little nervous. You know, being out, coming back, how I would feel. But um, you know, once I got out there and got going, it felt like I was just glad to be back out there with my teammates. So. Uh, definitely. You know, the confidence, um, regardless if I'm making shots or missing, it's not going to change, you know, but definitely um, I'm going to have a target on my back. So it's my job to just go out there and continue to play a solid game all around, whether it be, you know, taking charges, you know, finding open guys like Flo and just playing the right way. Well, is that some motivation after the first game against Kansas? Um, I mean, I wouldn't really call it motivation. It's just it's another big game that we have to go out there and win. Uh, we try not to dwell on the past, you know, just focus on the next step, the next, the next game, and it's a big one. So it should be exciting, exciting environment, especially in Waco. Uh, Coach Drew has talked about how you haven't really had a lot of chances to practice since John got hurt. This week you had a few days to string together. Do you feel more confident in your role and how you all are figuring things out now without him? Uh, man, we always feel confidence. We always feel confidence with our guys. Uh, it's more so about just the gelling of like playing a different position. But I mean, besides that, like we had time to practice and you know figure out certain things that we feel like some of the best equipped us for Saturday. But overall, I mean, the confidence is definitely there, especially with Adam and him, him being back. So it's, it's definitely there. Uh, I mean, it's always an interesting matchup. I mean, been in college for four years. He's done the same. Uh, seen him since high school, done the same. So it's always a fun matchup going against him and just looking forward to it. Where uh, you I played for my mission. He played for Oak Hill. So we go way back. How did it go back then? It was good. It was good. Let <laughs> me say that. It was good. It was good. I mean, we also played uh, some AU together too. So we, we go way back. We go way back. Adam, what, what do you see from there? Uh, real athletic, high-level guards. You know, they can get out and run, uh, hit shots. Just a, a really good group of guards that are, we're just excited to, you know, take the challenge and compete with out there. But um, it's not really just the guards. It's an emphasis on the whole team because they are a really um, effective team that plays together. So um, I think a lot of it, personally, the first game was pinpointing and focusing, and we'll still focus on them. But it's more of just going back to our habits and controlling what we can control. So. Adam, the students will be camping out tonight. And um, you know, what, just what do you hope the Farrell Center looks like and feels like tomorrow? <sighs> Rocking. Yeah, I, I can't wait. I mean, I know that uh, you know they're going to come out and support. And I uh, hope they're able to come out and support the girls as well. So we got two big games. It's going to be exciting tomorrow. Um, and we're just going to be thankful for them to be, even be out there. So. Tremendously. I mean, it's helped, you know, having uh, a fan base like that that's willing to come out. And, um, you know, when we go away, we definitely feel the energy. So I know a lot of teams that come here are feeling the energy and feeling kind of how different it is. So it's just it's just great, you know, having 
so many people behind us supporting us, and it gives us a little bit of edge when we go out there because we know we have, you know, a support system. Where do you guys want to start? Oklahoma State, Kansas, game day, all the above. I guess game day. Uh, does uh, maybe does bring a little extra to the game when you have? To oh, get here? most definitely. I mean, it's a, it's a it's a huge compliment to uh, the team, uh, administration, school, fans. Uh, there's not many a year, and if you're blessed to have them or have one, uh, really speaks volumes of uh, uh, what everyone's contributed because. Again, there's 358 schools that would love to have a college game day. And I guess, obviously, there's some motivation after the first Kansas game. Uh, de definitely, uh, uh, we didn't play our best basketball game. They had a lot to do with that. They're a very good team. Um, and uh, as, as competitors go, obviously, you want to put your best foot forward. In the Big 12, you can play well and lose. Um, but I think uh, uh, we didn't feel like we played to our, our best and uh, uh, fullest capability. So uh, we'll try to uh, uh, definitely uh, correct some things and um, starting with uh, transition defense, try to do a much better job there, try to do a much better job on the glass. I think it shows a lot of uh, toughness, a lot of grit, a lot of togetherness. Um, you're playing uh, uh, two games Saturday, Monday, uh, and and we didn't have a, a, a big rotation. So guys are fatigued. They're tired. To fight through that, persevere, win on the road says a lot because it's hard to do. This week, um, I know you had said that you hadn't had much time to practice without John and some of those rotations. Mm -hmm. You finally got the chance this week to mm -hmm. create some practices together. What's the well, I think uh, uh, definitely the, each and every day we get more and more comfortable and, and more opportunities to add some things, change some things. At the same, same time, uh, it, it's, it's uh, uh, also a little tough because the more you do in contact and practice, the more chance you have another, another injury. So <laughs> um, if you practice a lot, put a lot in, and we have two players out, then, then it's all for naught. So um, really uh, it, it's a challenge at this time of year. Uh, but definitely each and every day that you have an opportunity like we had the last two days are, are beneficial. When you look back at that first Kansas game, what are maybe one or two things that you can really identify as things that need to improve? Well, I think uh, um, uh, the two that – St stood out with transition defense and uh, after that game we changed some things in practice to help that and our transition defense has been a lot better since then so uh, again when you lose a game like that it starts with the coach and um, I've changed some things to help put our guys in a better position um, rebounding wise uh, we actually did a decent job numbers wise uh, we just didn't convert and they did so uh, in games where you have 14 offensive rebounds the opponent has nine you you provided the effort, but the second chance points, they might have 18 and you only have five. So the effort was there, the execution one. So I think we got we to do a better job uh, making sure they're not scoring on their second chance points with especially dagger threes or, or easy putbacks. And then we got to be more efficient when we get ours. I heard you were camping with them. Is that true or not? <laughs> no, OK. All right. Oh, I, I tell you, one of the best memories was uh, the last college game day showing up and the line wrapped around the building and uh, obviously the whiteout and the energy. I mean, it was electric. It was outstanding. It was it was really fun. Everything was great except for the ending. And uh, um, hopefully we can have a better uh, uh, ending. Scott, you guys have used a little zone. Uh, has that taken a lot of teaching these guys or do you, do you use that? Yeah, that, that that's something that we we we've had in in, in the arsenal and something we we practice. Um, obviously, your rotation gets shorter. Um, it's it's a way to change things up. Maybe uh, uh, rest guys, keep them out of foul trouble, just a curveball. So it's good to have that. And um, I, obviously, we, we uh, uh, our man defense is, is still our best defense. But uh, this time of year, uh, it's great to have uh, options. 
Well, it depends when we when we played the other night. It was a good zone defense. Other other times it had been a good. So I think uh, definitely you have size and length to be a good zone defense. But uh, normally, as you know, if you if you spend you only got if you have an hour of practice time. If you spend thirty minutes and thirty minutes, you're not good in either. You spend fifty and ten, you're better in the fifty than the ten. Um, so uh, back when we were playing zone all the time, our zone was much better. Um, but uh, we do have the personnel where we can be good in man or zone. It's just uh, figuring the time to to get to get good in both, probably. And a lot of it uh, on that Monday, they were missing shots. Um, we did a good job uh, rebounding out of it and then got in the transition. Yeah, I, 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 in fact, uh, um, whatever uh, the doctor gave him, so uh, we want the exact same thing every game. So uh, uh, he was outstanding, uh, really uh, uh, gave us a great lift, and he's capable of that. Is he a go, or is he still kind of a game day? He's a go. Okay. We got enough game days. He's a go. <laughs> so is, is LJ still kind of – Game time decision, yeah. Thank you guys. So no one's camping out. You guys coming by tonight or not?